Manuel Fraga I Ribarn, Spanish pronunciation, November 23, 1922 January 15, 2012, was a Spanish professor and politician in Francoist Spain, who was also the founder of the People's Party. Fraga was the Minister of Information and Tourism between 1962 and 1969, the Spanish Ambassador to the United Kingdom between 1973 and 1975, Minister of the Interior in 1975, Deputy Prime Minister between 1975 and 1976, President of the People's Alliance slash People's Party between 1979 and 1990 and President of the Sunta of Galicia between 1990 and 2005. He has also been both a deputy in the Congress and a senator. Fraga's career as one of the key political figures in Spain straddles both General Francisco Franco's Spanish state and the subsequent transition to representative democracy. He served as the president of the Sunta of Galicia from 1990 to 2005 and as a senator until November 2011. Fraga is also one of the fathers of the Constitution. Biography Early Life Fraga was born in Vilalba, Lugo Province, Galicia. Trained in law, economics, and political science, he began his political career in 1945 during Francisco Franco's reign. Political Career Francoist Spain Fraga started in the Franco cabinet in 1962 as Minister of Information and Tourism. Fraga authorized the execution of political prisoners under the Francoist state. A notable case is the execution of communist leader Julian Grimo, whom he called that little gentleman, Spanish, S.A. Cabal Ridi, in a press conference when asked about his detention and death sentence. His death sentence caused a large controversy outside of Spain. Grimaud was executed by firing squad in 1963. Fraga never publicly apologized or expressed regret for Grimaud's execution. Another notable case was the assassination by Spanish police of Enrique Ruano, a student activist who opposed the Francoist state. Fraga telephoned Ruano's father and threatened to arrest his other daughter, Margot, who was also an anti-Francoist, unless she immediately stopped her activism. The then director of Spanish newspaper ABC, Torquato Luca de Tina, later confessed that Fraga ordered him to publish a manipulated copy of Ruano's personal diary in order to present Ruano as a mentally unstable person who killed himself. Between 1962 and 1969 he served as Minister for Information and Tourism, and played a major role in the revitalization of Spanish tourist industry, leading a campaign under the slogan Spain is different. On March 8, 1966, he attempted to dispel fears of a nuclear accident after the Palomares hydrogen bombs incident by swimming in the contaminated water with the American ambassador, Angier Biddle Duke. Fraga also established himself as one of the more prominent members of a reformist faction in the government who favored opening up the state from above. He introduced an a posteriori censorship law, which was based on lifting pre-publication censorship and a reduction in its strictness. Additionally, a certain sexual liberality in films was popularly summarized in the expression con Fraga hasta la Braga, with Fraga even the panties. His depart from the government was prompted by the Maitza affair, the debt of the important publisher Manuel Salvat Dalmo was tangled with members of the Opus Dei, faction which Fraga opposed, and then he released the news. The dictator Franco expelled both sectors. First Government of the Monarchy After a brief period as Spain's ambassador in the United Kingdom, which ended with Franco's death in 1975, Fraga was appointed Vice President of the Government, Deputy Prime Minister, and Interior Minister, Ministro de Gobernación, on December 12, 1975, under Carlos Arias Navarro, a post he held until July 5, 1976. This was the first government with Juan Carlos I as Chief of State. Although Fraga was known to favor liberalizing the state from above, 
he himself favored an extremely gradual transition to full democracy. The drastic measures he took as interior minister and head of state security during the first days of the Spanish transition to democracy gave him a reputation for heavy-handedness, and deeply damaged his popularity. The phrase La Calle es Mía, Streets are mine, was attributed to him as his answer to complaints of police repression of street protests, he claimed that the streets did not belong to the people but to the state. He was known to be an admirer of Canova's del Castillo. During a clash at the Church of St. Francis of Assisi in Vitoria, Euskadi, between police and striking workers, on Fraga's orders the police stormed into a packed church into which 4,000 demonstrators had retreated and went on a shooting spree, resulting in five dead and over 100 wounded. Alianza Popular Fraga was one of the writers of the new Spanish constitution approved in 1978. Along with other former reformist members of the Francoist state, he founded the People's Alliance, Alianza Popular AP, and became its president. Although he tried to brand the party as a mainstream conservative party, the people did not trust him due to large number of former Francoists in the party, combined with his performance as interior minister. The party fared poorly in its first years, but after the 1982 crisis and the collapse of the UCD, the centrist party that had won the first two democratic elections, AP became the second party in Spain. Fraga was reckoned as the leader of the opposition to the Spanish Socialist Workers' Party, PSOE, government. The PSOE enjoyed great popularity and an absolute majority winning streak in the 1982 and 1986 elections, in part because Fraga and the AP were generally viewed as too reactionary to be an alternative. Following this critical development, Fraga resigned the presidency of the party in 1986. He suffered a scandal in 1983, when it was reported that Rodolfo Almiron, a former Argentine national police officer implicated in AAA, a right-wing death squad in Argentina, became a chief of his security team. Because of the outcry by Argentinian justice, Rodolfo Eduardo Almiron Sina was arrested in 2006 in a subsidized apartment in Torrent, Valencia, and abandoned his career at People's Party. Partido Popular With the AP in headlong decline, Fraga resumed the leadership of the party in 1989. With the addition of several lesser Christian Democratic parties and the remnants of the Democratic Center Union, he refounded the People's Alliance as the People's Party, Partido Popular PP. Later in the same year, Fraga encouraged the election of José María Osnar as the party's new president. Fraga was then appointed as honorary president of the PP. Presidency of the Santa of Galicia Manuel Fraga returned to his Galician homeland in 1989, winning that year's regional presidential election as head of the People's Party in Galicia, Pdeg, which had won a one-seat majority in the election. He remained in charge for almost 15 years until 2005, when the Pdeg lost its overall majority. Fraga saw his credibility damaged in late 2002, when the oil tanker ship Prestige sank off the Galician coast. It caused a massive oil spill that affected the shoreline in the northwest of the region. Fraga was said to have been slow to react and unable, or unwilling, to handle the situation. In 2004, a power struggle between factions of PDEG further hurt the party's image. Subsequently, in the autonomous elections of 2005, Fraga and the PDEG lost their absolute majority in the Parliament of Galicia. Despite their obtaining a 45% plurality in the elections, a left government coalition developed between the Socialists' Party of Galicia, PSTEG, and the Galician Nationalist Bloc, making socialist Emilio Pérez Turino the new president. Fraga remained on the political scene from Galicia, as a member of the Senate representing the Parliament of Galicia. Alberto Núñez Feijú, a member of the Galician Popular Party, has been the PPDG head since late 2005. 
Fraga was designated as a senator by the Galicia parliament in 2008. Overview Fraga was one of the writers of the Democratic Constitution and spent part of his political career lessening the censorship law during the latter years of the Francoist state. However he had openly admitted admiration for General Franco and the Francoist state in public on several different occasions. He was renowned for his temper tantrums in public at not being referred to or addressed as Don Manuel. He most famously shouted during a television interview, completely unaware the camera was filming and the show was being broadcast live on air. Manuel Fraga I Ribarn was probably one of the most important and yet controversial politicians in modern Spain. To his supporters, Fraga was a Galician hero who throughout his rule, modernized Galicia and built up a fair level of tourism to the region. He built great roads and motorways and in 2000, he approved the Galician plan to build Spain's first high-speed bullet train. However to his opponents he was an authoritarian relic of the Franco era who failed to lift Galicia and its people out of poverty and unemployment. Despite their political differences, he maintained a friendship with Fidel Castro, himself of Galician descent, who visited him in Galicia in 1992. Death Fraga died on January 15, 2012 of a respiratory disease. His funeral was attended by Prince Felipe and Princess Letizia. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.